I mean, we were all just home at the time, but um, then we just saw like, it was happening like overnight. The floods just kind of came, and in the morning, like we like could get out because they were just I don't know around the house. I mean, we weren't as badly affected because there was a little bit down the hill. People had like their entire bottom floors flooded, but there was still like the risk. We had like kind of damp all around the road. It did just look like a river, like. It's like one of the main roads in Bailden and it was just like full of water, it was a river. At the end of my street is, there's a bridge over the river and obviously from just all the rain, that's it just, it's amazing like, because when you walk over it you can see like how far down the river is anyway. So you can really tell like the amount of water that made it not only like rise up that far but also like stay, you know, there was so much water that it didn't just like come and kind of go when a flash flood it was a flood that you know stayed for a while and had like lasting effects on the surrounding areas. Houses here as well were flooded. These were like one of the really worst affected areas. It's just, obviously you can see we were just a little bit higher. All coach road all down here. Again like this field was completely bogged out. I think these people had to like move to different houses for a while so there was a lot of community help for the people around here the lot like worse affected. A few of my friends were affected but it wasn't so much people I knew just you know people you're more friends with on Facebook because a lot of my friends live in Upper Belden so they were all like oh Shani you alright and I was like uh, not really but I saw quite a few people with like you know fully like you know the water had come into our house we were lucky we were just trapped but at least it hadn't like ruined our carpets. Like I said before I mean it like proper like reached out to a lot of people and people were definitely coming to help I feel like it was much more of a community kind of thing than with like any kind of like the council or government or anything like I think if we hadn't had such a strong response from the community it would have taken like so much longer because it felt like what help were we getting outside of each other you know what I mean? I feel like people are definitely always friendly up north anyway and especially with like everything that happened I think it like really showed like you know like proper Yorkshire spirit like everyone was like dead keen to help each other out and I, I guess yeah again even if like people couldn't help like physically you know they were still offering to help you know like, there's lots of pages on Facebook being like oh community get-togethers to raise money you know rather than actually doing the manual labour to like remove the flood like lots of people were getting involved to still help like try what they could. Bailden wasn't even one of the worst affected places but it was still like it was quite like traumatic for a lot of people that lived here I guess especially being like the holiday season just after Christmas and a lot of people I know were like visiting family or had family visiting and then obviously people were stranded so it was was pretty traumatic but obviously not as bad as some places had it but still obviously you, you know you don't hear about these things happening in the south. Now I feel like there is a lot of money put into stuff down south like you never really hear about this stuff you know it's always like York here the stuff like Hebden Bridge it's always like an up in like the north you know the Lake District and stuff wherever it's always like them places you hear about I guess because they put all the money into helping Londoners and Southerners that they don't always have the money to help us here. I was quite scared. I mean, we were really worried for my nana as well because she lives quite low down and we hadn't like heard for a, like for like a day. And But she obviously, she couldn't get out either. And I think it must have been affecting Signal or something, but so it was really scary. Yeah, I am really worried it's going to happen again. And like this time way worse.